Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Uh, welcome to Dumb SEO Questions, episode 309. Uh, each week, we're here to answer the questions asked on the SEO Questions community on Google Plus and the uh, Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. With us tonight, we have David Rosam. Uh, David is an internet marketer. He's based uh, on the uh, sunny south of England uh, in West Sussex. Well, when I say sunny, sunny doesn't act, uh, well, it's, <laughs> David, no, it's, David it's, is not sure if he's actually seen sun or not. Uh, <laughs> right. Also, Masataki Wasa. Masataki is a webmaster of wasaweb.net. He's also a Google top contributor on the uh, um, AdSense community. He's based in Wimbledon. Um, and you can find Masataki at wasaweb.net, W A S A W E B dot N E T and David Rosam at davidrosam.com. Tim Capo is CEO of onlineownership.com. He's based in Corby, 100 miles. Uh, I've just realised everybody here tonight is from the UK. Um, I hope they don't uh, dr drop us for uh, anyway. Um, yeah, Tim, Tim is based in Corby. He's also a Google top contributor uh, on the uh, um, Google My Business community. Actually, it's not Google top contributor anymore. It's Google product expert. All right. So our first question tonight is from, um, uh, well, it's titled um, Redirect uh, Old Page. Um, or create a new one. Um, let me click this button. So nothing's working. There we are. It's from Vo Thang, who asked us a number of questions uh, of us on the uh, Google Plus community. He said, I I've completed my website to WordPress and I'm redirecting the old URL to the new URL, but Google is. Um, uh, warning my URL, um, no information is available for this page. I think that if I redirect the old URL to new URL, Google will update the new URL and my website uh, um, will not lose ranking. Um, that's not right. Um, perhaps I'll delete the old URL and submit a new site map. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm not fully understanding this. So you've redirected the old URL to the new URL, right? 301 redirect. Where's the warning coming up saying no information is available for this page? Is that in the search results? I mean, uh, I've never seen... Yeah, that's right. It wouldn't be from Google Search Console, would it? He must mean the search results, and, and maybe he is. Typically, uh, typically oh, when you see that yeah. in the search results, um, it means that you're blocking that page <laughs> with robots txt. Yeah, totally agree. Yeah, I, I see. Um, he, he says um, so many people think that um, providing a sitemap changes everything when the truth is that Googlebot pays little attention to a sitemap. Um, but, um, yeah, yeah it, it, it's, it's clear that um, he's blocking Ian Robot's text, Tim. You're right. Um, let's call that an answer for Vo Thang and uh, go on to the next. I think he's got another question for us as well. 
This one from Edward Bergino Okoa. Uh, he said, hi everyone, which tool do you recommend to monitor your SEO uh, efforts? Um, not uh, SEO monitor. Well, um, I use uh, SEMrush, courtesy of SEMrush. Um, I have, although, um, had a play with Rank Tracker, and I quite like that. I also, in the local space, there's a new one for tracking local, which is called Local Falcon which is like sexiest thing uh, in uh, local at the minute. And also if you're in local, uh, bright local does a really good local tracker. So it depends what works for you, mate. Thank you, Tim. Any other comments? No? Okay. Well, that, that, well that, that will do us, of course. Um, let's go to the next. We've only got five questions tonight. We've already done almost half. Job and John um, asked a question uh, on penalty removal. Uh, Job and said, hi, guys, I am stuck. I have this client site that, that which received a manual structured markup penalty. And I have deleted almost all markup um, that might have been causing errors or was irrelevant. But the reconsideration request keeps getting denied. Um, is there anyone who has had any luck with this kind of penalty removal? I need some advice. Okay, so the only time I've ever uh, seen a client with these, uh, there's uh, four, four of them. It was for aggregated review data markup. It wasn't the actual rest of the structured data. Um, Google may have changed this. The last time I dealt with one, I think, was last year or the beginning of this year. They might have changed it, but I haven't seen anything else to the contrary saying that it's for other type of structured data markup. So I'm going to go based on the fact that it still remains to be aggregated, aggregated um, reviews uh, that 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 is causing the issue so in that instance i don't know if you've got that running site-wide get rid of it um if you're using aggregated reviews those aggregated reviews one should be only related to the product or the page or the service right so you wouldn't have it on your home page you wouldn't have it on uh, any other page on the site, the contact page, this page, uh, you wouldn't have it on the about us. It would literally be pertaining to that particular service or the particular product that's being sold. Um, also, equally, it needs to be on site. So you shouldn't be marking up a third party. Um, like, for example, you shouldn't be marking up something that's coming from Yelp or Yell or wherever else you should actually only be mocking up the um reviews that are on site having said that i haven't run into any issues marking up the reviews coming from the business's own google my business page um in theory you shouldn't be doing that but I haven't run into a problem yet doing that. Um, but, and the big but, is that you are only marking up the relevant pages that would get the review, not the home page, not the about page, none of the other pages, not the blog pages, only the product or service. Thank you, Tim. Any more comments? Okay, Deb and John, that's your lot for, for this week. Thank you for your question. Cassie Richardson asks a question. It's titled, 
need general advice for pruning old blog posts. Cassie said, that, does anyone have any general advice for pruning old blog posts? I'm working with a smaller site, less than 500 pages, that has very little traffic and a ton of old blog posts that are no longer relevant from the early 2000s. I don't want to waste a, a ton of redirects uh, since they probably uh, um, don't uh, get much traffic anyway. And a lot of them are broken, broken images, unfinished or duplicates somehow. I was planning to do an audit of the blog and 410 uh, slash delete the broken or duplicates, but there are tons that are published and complete, but go very far back. They're not relevant to the industry they're in any longer and barely get any traffic or rank for keywords. Well, mm. I think I would um, I would go straight for um, Google Google Analytics and uh, find out which uh, which of these are not getting any traffic. Um, if they're not getting any traffic, then you're not going to get a lot of uh, juice. Not going to get a lot of pleasure. Not going to get a lot out of having redirects in place. Um, so I would make it easy for yourself. In the first place, go through, find out um, that those that are not get those pages, those blogs uh, that are not getting traffic, and just give them the grand order of the boot. Um, then look at what you've got left. What are they? Um, is there anything else that really doesn't fit? Um, again, if they're if they're not getting a lot of traffic, just just get rid of them. Um, if if you're going to uh, if you're going to redirect them um, and they're not relevant, uh, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, I, I would be just. I, I think I would uh, have the night of the, the the night of the long knives and go through and chuck out all this old stuff that either doesn't get any uh, traffic or isn't relevant anymore. Um, I don't think you need to be much, uh, I don't think you need to be sophisticated about it. Just get rid of it. Thank you, David. Uh, any more? Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I would, I would echo David, uh, except I would probably look Already identified, broken, and unfinished, and duplicate. Well, I read it before the. Before then. Um, and I'm not really sure why you've got stuff on there that's not relevant, um, or it may have been relevant in the past. But you could, you know, before you just start chucking. Uh, it was obviously read the business on and has changed or have laws changed or has made them now. So firstly I would just get rid of the dupe, the broken, the crap. But then I would just uh, quite honestly even if something is outdated, it's still useful in a historical context. Um and I, um, some, I, I would still look at it and see why is this no longer relevant? Why is it out of date? Could you put it into some form of um, research archive where so you still got the content if uh, users want to look, then they could go into it. So, but that's going to depend on, on what it is, what kind of quality it is. But um, that's another thought for you to have a look at. Thank you, Tim. Look, I must also call out to people like Michael Martinez and Michael Stricker, uh, people who were put their time in uh, day after day answering uh, these questions. Uh, 
in this case on our Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. Um, but they answer these questions uh, immediately and uh, um, really make uh, the service that we uh, try to provide uh, so much better. And for that, we are truly grateful. Um, and for Cassie, the, the, look, the, 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 the thing that struck me was that um, you would want to look at your um, traffic data over a 12-month period because some of these pages might be seasonal content. And uh, like if they're all about Thanksgiving, that they'll appear for this month. But uh, um, if, if, you, if you were looking at any other time of the year, uh, they, they have no traffic. Um, and maybe uh, some things, uh, instead of deleting them, may, may lend themselves to be made into evergreen uh, content. Okay, let's move on to the next, if we have a next. What are we up to? Number four. So this one's number five. It's from Ted Rinshed. Good heavens above. Um, um, it's titled, Google recommends using HTML to get content indexed quickly. A Google executive says Google strongly recommends using HTML um, to get content in index quickly. Uh, and Ted asked, isn't Beaver Builder mainly JavaScript? Just curious. So am I. I haven't heard of Beaver Builder. <laughs> okay. So I think you're kind of confusing a few different things there. <sighs> well, yes, you should be using HTML. Um, pretty much every web page. Um, yeah, 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 do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it depends on, on on what kind of thing you're doing, but I'm aware it's just another, it, it's just a template. It's just a WordPress template. Um, and I don't know if, yeah, um, I'm confused with this question, but, um, yeah, I mean, if you're using a template that, um, you know, it's not using HTML, you can find a template that uses it. There's that. Um, um, yeah, I think what you would put your speak to a developer, make sure correctly, but millions and millions of WordPress templates out there. Uh, um, yeah, just find when that works with you. It's, uh, um, you know, that, the, the, and it's not necessarily just, you know, HTML. There's a lot of factors that go into, um, um, you know, how Google finds your relevancy of your page. But nine times out of 10, no matter what you flip and build, your site in, um, Google should be indexing it. Uh, if you haven't, then you've got a big problem. Yeah. Anybody else? It seems that uh, Beaver Builder is a theme with an associated um, um, page layout, page construction, page building um, plugin. Um, so, yeah, I th I, from what I caught of Tim's uh, reply, I think perhaps there is a, um, uh, a potential confusion here. Um, Beaver Builder may be um, written in JavaScript, may use JavaScript, but the question is what does it output the majority of the, the page in? Um, and... Uh, I, I don't know. I've never come across Beaver Builder. I just uh, did a uh, I just did a search and discovered the uh, the site that's associated with it. Um, I, uh, I haven't had time to read it. Um, the you know the problem with some of these um, some of these kind of things is that they do produce um, a lot of code. 
um, and you can end up with a, a fairly heavy page, which if you're trying to get a fast site for mobile as much as anything could be a bit of a downside, but that's uh, aside from the question about uh, getting content indexed quickly. Um, so no, I, I'm I'm just um, I don't think what I'm saying is actually add, adding to anything to the to the answer. Um, but I, I I do I do agree with Tim that there's uh, if the if Beaver Builder is in JavaScript or uh, that's not the same as the uh, the, the resultant page um, being um, mainly in HTML. Um, there's lots of other things that go go into a page, but um, I think what uh, what Google is strongly re recommending is that the uh, that the content is simply um, the, the, the 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 word the verbiage <laughs> should should be uh, should, should be easily um, easily found by the uh, by by Google Bot um, in simple html rather than buried in a load of other code um so um yep. i think the i think the answer ted is to have a look read uh read around um the beaver builder site and um and also see what people are saying about beaver builder uh, around about the the internet uh, unfortunately, the you know uh, us as a group, we've not used it. Yeah, you know, I, I sometimes think uh, at the Googleplex, um, or maybe in Switzerland, uh, um, they're uh, they 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 have a running gag uh, and. Uh, it, Think of you know what, what's the next most outrageous thing that we can say, uh, you know. Anyway, uh, thank you for the joke, guys. All right, uh, I think it's uh, that time again. Um, we'll soon find out. Yes, it is. A, it's thank you for watching. Time we've done it again. We've answered uh, all of the questions asked on the. Uh, SEO questions community on Google Plus and the dumb uh, SEO questions Facebook group. We thank you for your interest. Uh, your interest in what we do makes what we uh, do worthwhile. And uh, for that, we are truly grateful. Uh, we'll be back. Uh, at, well, did anyone want, want to add anything before we go? Okay, yeah, well, look, we'll be back at the same time next week to do this uh, all again. Uh, and until then, thank you very much.